Hey guys, it's some old guy coding again today. And uh, today we're using this nice little thing that we printed out for experimenting with Arduino. And we've got an Arduino uh, Nano here. And uh, this guy is just a little stereo amplifier board that I picked up off of probably eBay. And uh, yeah, I should be having a capacitor in between here and, and the speaker um, to uh, limit the, the DC going through, but I don't. It's uh, okay for now. So um, the thing I've been playing with is I've been playing with the speaker a little bit. I wanted to see if uh, what it would take to generate noise. We currently uh, usually leave the bathroom fan running for the, for the mother-in-law at night as a kind of background white noise to help mask some of the other noises that uh, may wake her. And I thought, well, maybe we could make a little widget with, uh, with an Arduino and just make a cheap uh, background white noise thing. And I'll keep experimenting with it. I'm not quite there yet. But I did want to show you a couple of things. So up here on the screen, we have this super simple uh, noise generation sketch. Um, and set up all we do is we uh, do the random seed thing, and it really doesn't matter uh, what the seed is. So we could have just said zero. It really doesn't matter. And uh, let me back up over that. And now we're just going to do a, a random tone uh, to pin 7 uh, for, with a random value of 600 to 500 and change that every time through the loop. I've seen some more complicated implementations using a bit high and low, but this tone function is built in. We might as well use it. I used a similar uh, function back in the old uh, IBM PC days. I was trying to write a game in C to, to learn to use C, and uh, I needed an explosion sound. So this is exactly the same way I did it, except with a couple caveats here that we'll talk about in a minute. <clears throat> So first, let's give this. Go ahead and give this a try and hear what it sounds like. You can adjust the tone by adjusting the the low and the high random values here. If you want something a little thinner, uh, you can put higher values in. If you want something a little more uh, pink noise, uh, the lower sounds, uh, lower values work great. So this is probably going to be really loud. I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll cut it down in post. Uh, well, let's give it a try. I'm going to put my hand kind of over the speaker to keep the sound down a little bit. As you can see, that's a nice, uh, nice low noise. If we go uh, 600, 600 to um, I don't know 10,000, we'll get a much lighter sounding one. So you can you can go even higher than that if you'd like, but uh, you get the idea, I'm sure. In the game, I was trying to write this random call, a random you know statement that's in the code here. Uh, took a large percentage of the time. It was uh, really a drag. <laughs> so what I did instead was I had created um, uh, an array of values up here and then at initialization we would uh, load up those vowels. Let's see if I can I'll skip a little of my typing here. 600 of these and I'm just playing around probably. Oh, let's go 15. So then down here we'll do an i equals zero. I is less than 15. 15 i plus plus. And then we're just going to use one line down here so we don't need a set of curly braces. So let's go ahead and just grab that guy. And we'll paste it right there and clean up the funny characters indent that a little bit and give it a semicolon behind. <clears throat> so this uh, little loop is just going to fill up that uh, array up here of integers with <clears throat> random values between 600 and 1000. So instead of doing uh, the random in the loop we're doing it at initialization time. So now we're going to need an indexer <clears throat> And we'll go ahead and fetch uh, via that index under uh, my vowels. I don't need that there. 
that's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and increment uh, the, in the index. And you should be using defiance for all these values, of course. But if it is over 15, then we'll set it back to zero. All right. <clears throat> so now um, we could run the loops, you know, with the uh, with the random command down here. And I did some experimentation with that earlier. And if you do it 10,000 times, there's definitely a space, uh, a good space in between there. If you use this indexing key. Um, no, you, you can't tell. So let's go ahead and give this guy a try, see how bad my coding was here. That's uh, basically the same as last time. It's got a little extra tone in there. I'm not sure where that's coming from. It, it's kind of a noise. Perhaps if we um, took a longer sample in here. Let's go uh, 32, 32, and 32. And this is where a define would be good, so we might as well define the size. And that should be in capitals. Let's go all the way out to 64. Yeah, that's definitely a better a better noise sound than what we had previously. So, but in any case, that's a technique you could do to preload a series of uh, values into an array to use to generate noise um, before you get into doing uh, the loop here, and that will uh, speed up the process of going through the loop uh, many many times. So I thought you might find that interesting. Um, if you're making noise for a game in Arduino or, some, or something, you know, that you could uh, do that sort of thing. I had a couple other files here, too. Let's go ahead and load those up. That I, along with creating these values, um, here I'm basing the values off of i, so the values are getting bigger as the um, array goes on. And here we're just going to play it once, which is kind of nice. Um, so it's going to run out through the... Um, through the array um, 60 values at a time and then it's going to bump up the starting point in the array by one so you can see that we're using the counter uh, which is uh, this guy here goes up to 60 and then the index which is uh, will go up to 270 so every time through we will go ahead and uh, um, first bump the index and then bump the counter. So we should have an interesting sound here. Let's give it a try. Well, I take it back. That's more of a, a noise sound, um, rising noise sound. So you could use that, you know, a technique to uh, create uh, noise of something falling or the beginning of an explosion or. So something to play with, um, some, just some ideas. Uh, if you got any comments or questions, certainly give me a holler. And as usual, thanks for watching. See you next time.